Okay, so are you going to answer this easy math question incorrectly? Well, let's see how you do. And the question is, what is the difference of 17 and 19? So go ahead and put your calculators away. And if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to explain exactly how to solve this very easy math problem. Now, some of you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is just too easy for uh, me. I could definitely do this in my brain. Well, don't be so surprised if you get this wrong. So you definitely want to stick around for the entire video. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. Again, the question is, what is the difference of 17 and 19? Now, before I show you the answer, what comes to mind with this word right here? Now, if you're saying, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm talking about, or you're talking about subtraction. Well, if you're thinking subtraction, that is fantastic. And that is what we're talking about. So let's take a look at uh, subtraction operation involving 17 and 19. So what is the correct answer? So the correct answer is one of these two numbers right here. Now, if you answer two, okay, and of course you have to be honest with yourself. If you say, yes, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that is my answer. Well, unfortunately, that is cor uh, incorrect. The correct answer is a negative two. So if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence because you appear to be a certified professional expert in basic math vocabulary. And we need to really understand what this uh, means in mathematics, the word difference. Of course, it has something to do with subtraction, but uh, we have to really be careful with the order of the numbers here. So if you got this wrong, I'm actually happy that you made this mistake because this is not that difficult. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. So the definition of the difference in mathematics is the following. So the difference of two numbers, A and B, is A minus B. Okay, so... We have to be very clear about this. So the difference of A, this is going to be our first number of A minus, or excuse me, the difference of A and B is A minus B. So A comes first, or this the first number that we have in this case is 17. All right, so this is going to be our A, and then B is going to be our 19. So this is our second value. So what we have here, the difference of 17 and uh, 19 is equal to a minus B or 17 minus 19. So order makes a difference. Now, if I gave you this problem, a lot of you uh, might say, well, of course, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I would have recognized that this is negative two. But uh, again, you need to understand these words like difference, sum, quotient, product. Matter of fact, in a second here, we're going to quickly review the definitions of, the, of those other mathematical operations. But let's go ahead and just finish up this simple problem. So 17 minus 19 is equal to what? Well, that's going to be equal to 17 plus a negative 19. And if you're a little bit shaky on your positive and negative numbers, I'll give you some uh, recommendations on how you can improve. But 17 plus negative 19 is equal to negative 2. So the difference of 17 and 19 is negative 2, not just 2. But uh, if, again, you, um, you know, quickly looked at these, uh, this problem and you were thinking, all right, this is subtraction, I'm just going to subtract these two values, and you came up with two, well, now you know to be very careful when it comes to mathematical operations, okay, like difference, quotient, product, and sum. All right, so let's go ahead and take the next step and review these other mathematical definitions. But before we do, I need you to take a quick look at this, and that is the subscribe button. So locate that thing and go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button. Now, I don't like to tell people what to do, but if you think that you, know, you might be getting some small value out of this video, well, to support my channel, my channel is all about trying to make math interesting and easy to understand. 
And uh, really, my main thing on my channel is to encourage people to never give up on themselves when it comes to learning mathematics. So if you are having a tough time with math, what you need is a lot of instruction and a lot of practice. So you might be interested in checking one of my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video. But uh, uh, for YouTube, it really does allow me to reach more people when uh, people like yourself subscribe. And if you're gonna do that, hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's take a look at some of these other definitions. And uh, we're not going to do any examples, but we'll just quickly run through them. So the sum, all right, so the sum of two numbers, A and B. Now, A and B just represent two numbers. Okay, so the sum of A and B is simply A plus B. Now, uh, I'm not going to get into this for this particular video, uh, properties like the associative property or the commutative property with various uh, mathematical operations, but that is an important element of uh, working with number operations in math. Okay, so I'm just kind of throwing those things out uh, and hopefully uh, some of you are like, yes, Mr. YouTube Math, man, I remember learning that in my math class. But let's take a look at the product. So if you see the word, the uh, product, right, the product of A and B, that indicates multiplication, all right? So the pro uh, product of A and B is simply A times B or AB in algebra. Okay, so let's take a, look, uh, take a look at this last one, which tends to confuse a lot of people, and that is the quotient. Now, the quotient has to do with division, okay? And it's uh, probably just as confused, or, or it's um, people confuse the quotient like the difference. Okay, you have to be very careful here because the order makes a difference. So the quotient of A and B is equal to A divided by B, or if you think of this as a fraction, A is the numerator. So this right here, A over B, uh, is the same as A divided by B. This first number here is the numerator. So that's two ways to think of the quotient, but hopefully this was a quick little refresher on basic uh, mathematical definitions. Now, for those of you that want to improve in basic math, I have two excellent courses uh, that you can check out. Uh, both, uh, both of these courses are in the description. The first is my uh, Math Foundations course. That is a three-chapter mini course on basic arithmetic, all right? So I cover, you know, uh, decimals, place values, uh, how to multiply, divide numbers, just real kind of basic things, order of operations, fractions. So if you want to um, kind of refresh your basic math skills, that would be the course for you. Now, if you want to uh, refresh your basic math skills and then take it a step further, well, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. In that course, I go over basic mathematics, and then we continue on learning a ton of algebra, geometry, even some basic trigonometry and probability and statistics. But hopefully this little video was entertaining and you actually learned something. And if that's the case, go ahead and like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.